Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you this delay pedal I built. So I've shown you another DIY project before, which was my darkroom timer and enlarger project. But this time I thought I'd show you a music project. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that I now make all the background music myself for my videos. So whenever you see a photography video, the background music is probably mine anyway. So once you start with making music, the problem is that you accumulate gear. And some of it can get quite expensive, especially effects pedals for guitars and, well, you can use them for all sorts of stuff, not just guitars. You can plug anything into it. A uke, a kalimba, a steel tongue drum, a synthesizer, whatever. You can plug it in there, it's gonna work. They're very useful and small and usually not that expensive unless you want something very sophisticated or something historical or you want a million of them, which we all want, really, if we want to be honest with ourselves. The prices of these things can range from cheap, like this Chinese one. It's a mini pedal, costs about 20 euros, but you can also pay a hundred for a stereo pedal, which, are, which is a really nice reverb, I love it. Or even 500, a thousand. 2000. There's really no upper limit, I think. And it can turn into a bit of an obsession, so I thought, why not minimize the damage <laughs> and start building my own instead? Instead of buying the original ones, I can just, you know, build a clone of some of the popular circuits. <sighs> damage control, really. Also, another reason why I wanted to start with pedals is because the schematics are usually not that difficult and they're small, so you can't get too complicated. And in the future, I want to build much more complicated stuff, like my own synthesizer. And those are a bit... It's a bit more difficult, especially the analog ones, they can get quite difficult to understand. So baby steps towards the goal. Let's start with something simple. But yeah, I'm not I'm not a total noob. So I thought maybe start with a delay pedal instead of what I would normally recommend, which is a fuzz. They're much easier. But I started with a delay pedal. It's a digital one, but it sounds quite analog still. And analog delay pedals are very hard to build, so don't start with those. The kit I ordered came from a place called Musikding, which is a German place. The translation is music thing, so that's quite accurate, I suppose. <laughs> the kit comes in one of these bags with all the components, and you can also order the enclosures pre-drilled. If you have the option, you can also drill them yourself and just get the plain enclosure from cheaper places, if you want that. I don't have the option, so I buy the pre-drilled ones. So the first thing I did was to spray paint the enclosure. And yeah, I didn't film that because you should never film something that you're doing for the first time. That's a bad omen. If you look at it, it's not exactly even. Hmm. So that's a pretty amateur job, I would say. But that's okay, it looks rather cool. I like it. Maybe I just stick with it was intended that way. It wasn't. But yeah, I, I thought it turned out cool and that's okay with me. And then I labeled it with Posca pen and put a, a coat of clear over it too so that it would be protected at least a little. And yeah, that was the enclosure done. So after that, I started soldering the PCB board. Now, I pretty much immediately ran into trouble because the solder wire I used was a bit too thick and the board has very little space, a lot of components on there. So 
At one point I thought I had created a solder bridge and I tried to remove that solder bridge for about half an hour unsuccessfully and I measured it and remeasured it and it still kept being there although I tried everything to remove it. Well, after a look at the schematic I realized that the pins are actually connected on the board. So I was actually trying to remove an inexistent solder bridge. Professionals at work. But you see, I didn't ruin anything, so all was fine and I could just continue soldering and pretend as if nothing happened. So after that I just continued putting in all the resistors and then I put in the IC sockets and finally the capacitors, which is the usual way of doing these things so that the higher parts don't get in the way while you're trying to fit other components. And after I was done with all of that, it all looked fine and like it would work, so I could continue with the wiring. I had to solder two jacks and the power connector and this little switch here. The jacks and the power connector are not so difficult. With guitar pedals you have to be a bit careful because the power connector solders the other way around. Be careful with that. Then it's two jacks, that's pretty simple. The main issue was this year. I didn't really know how to solder that and the instructions just said solder foot switch. Very helpful. There was a PCB, a second one included for the power switch. I thought I knew how to do it but I wanted to make sure and so I found a video where someone goes through the entire build of this pedal, the entire build from beginning to end on a stream. So uh, whenever I was stuck I would just look at this video. It was exactly like I expected it to be but better to make certain, right? So after I had soldered all of that I could go ahead with testing and I, before I put in the ICs I tested that I didn't create the wrong voltages in certain places and that everything had the right voltages in the right places so that I wouldn't fry any ICs and after that I tested it with sound and it actually worked. That's cool. After testing it a bit more and trying all the functions I closed it up and I had a finished guitar pedal. The first one. There are gonna be more. It's actually not that hard so I'm gonna be building more of them and it's gonna be fun. This one was, you know, apart from the frustrating part where I almost destroyed the board, was quite fun <laughs> and I would do it again. I, I can recommend the experience. So after finishing it I could actually test it out with some instruments and I decided to use my kalimba first because that's always nice and yeah it does also doesn't need an amp. I just plug it into an equalizer pedal to boost it a little and then it's ready to record. And I also take out some of the nasty frequencies in the upper spectrum. The plucky sounds, I don't really like those too much if they're too harsh. So the only thing the equalizer pedal does is give it a little boost and make it easy to record. Other than that it doesn't do anything. The delay pedal has three knobs and you can get it to self oscillate which is cool. There's a tiny little bit of noise very low when you put it put the delay time up a lot.
and yeah that's to be expected i suppose uh, it's not too bad and it generally sounds quite nice so i'm actually very happy with the pedal it's gonna be a never cool pedal in my collection and i built it myself which is awesome so the main way i'm gonna be using this pedal is to stack it with other pedals in the chain usually more delay pedals because i like that sort of thing i like to stack more and more delays to create sort of textures and so that sort of thing for my ambient tunes that's what i use these delay pedals for mostly that's also why you're not going to be hearing any guitar playing in this because that's not really how i use these pedals normally sometimes but only for ambient drone stuff and i don't think that's gonna tell you much so what I normally do is to record an improvised thing on one of my instruments into the DAW, then maybe extract some harmonies from that, loop certain bits and pieces from it. I might use it on its own too sometimes. It all depends on the circumstances, like with everything, right? And yeah, I'm happy with the build. It turned out great, I think. It looks cool and it sounds good and i think it's going to be useful in what i do with all my ambient stuff because delay delay and more delay so if you enjoyed this video then please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already it really helps out my channel so i would appreciate it and on this channel i share all the cool stuff i make including the diy builds but also photography drawing painting music obviously and whatever else comes into my mind, I suppose. If you have any suggestions for more expensive hobbies, then please don't volunteer them. No, I don't need more. <laughs> that being said, maybe do. I don't mind. Just, you know. So I'll leave you now with one of my latest tracks, which involves several delay pedals, including the one I just built. And it's based on my newest instrument, which is a steel tone drum. My husband gave it to me for Christmas and it's just a perfect instrument. You can't play a wrong note, it's fantastic. So I hope you'll enjoy that and I see you soon for another video. Bye!
and that's the only thing the equalizer pedal does. The power connector, you have to be careful 